how is your work, I guess, different from other historians? We had a famous historian recently in our podcast and how he talked about uh, what he does as a public or academic uh, historian was that he was answering the question, what happened during this time? And then looking for as much information to kind of fill in and color that time period. Uh, for mm-hmm. you, how would you differentiate yourself now from the public and academic historians out there? It's it's a good question because there are different kinds of historians. No, uh, right. that depends on first, uh, of course, their interest, their, the topic of interest. You know, so what sets me aside or apart from other historians is that uh, the the specific topic uh, and themes that uh, that uh, frame. Uh, my 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 research and, and also of my teaching, you know. But as a as a historian uh, that that publishes, that uh, conducts research, um, and publishes, uh, my 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 focus or my interest is in is on the history of the Chinese and Chinese mestizos. So, um, so that thematically that sets me apart. Uh, in terms of uh, methods, um, you know, uh, methodology, uh, there are also different ways that historians write or, or conduct research. Uh, some historians, they, but if you're a historian, you have to always have empirical evidence mm-hmm. to write about the past, right? So uh, some people, uh, they they dig up graves or they, uh, you know, they they look into, uh, let's say, government records, or or they look at uh, old diaries that were left behind, photographs. So my, mine's uh, more ethnographic. That's why sometimes uh, I can also say that I I'm an, an anthropologist at heart, uh, because anthropologists they do ethnography, which means that. Uh, they do some kind of uh, work with material uh, uh, objects. Uh, they conduct surveys or interviews. They uh, they're interested in culture, in how how people behave, how people uh, live. And so, for me, uh, my 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 methodology is ethnographic. So, which means I look into the lives of people uh, in writing history. And sometimes it's also called micro history because instead of studying history in the larger macro historical perspective where you talk about events, you know, you talk about mm-hmm. World War I, World War II, and then uh, Edsa Revolution, those are macro historical events. Uh, but for me, I'm more interested in investigation, in investigating how people lived 